What is going on, all you amazing viewers to be named later? How are we doing today? Having a great day? I don't know. I'm filming this on a Friday, so if you've got kids, they're home for the weekend. If, if you feel like I do. <laughs> is it Monday yet? Some parents like their kids. I don't. <laughs> That's called sarcasm, you YouTube manual reviewer. Hi, it's me again. Anywho, as you know by that thumbnail over that's clicked on to get here today, we don't have just one. We've got two amazing products to review with a gaggle of monsters. That's right. The limited edition Oreo Coca-Cola cookies are here. And the Coke Zero Oreo cookies. Oh, this is going to be weird. Okay, this is going to be weird. Coca-Cola Oreos and Oreo Coca-Cola. So, are, are they collaborating or something? Kind of. That's one for you. That's one for you. There's no sugar, so I don't feel bad about giving you this. <laughs> They're not yeah, going to be bouncing off the wall. <laughs> Trust me, I was filmed this in the morning, you know, to unleash them on the school. <laughs> and then it's, uh, zero sugar. Table, 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 table. We are going to do the Coke Zero first. Okay, we really are. So, for you weird people, there's the nutritional facts on the back of the can right there. I really wanted to find these at my local big box store, but we had to go through their app to order them and pick them up later. Even though their app said they're located right here in this aisle. Nah. Do not go to Amazon. You're going to pay like triple and quadruple the price because people are assholes. But still, I don't know how this is going to be. I did violate some of my rules. I did watch Mo the Bearded Sharks review. By the way, Mo, if you're watching this, hashtag free Bradley, you bastard. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, it just smells like Coke Zero to me. It really does. I know some people said it smelled like a Cherry Coke. It was other stuff. To me, it just smells like a Coke Zero. So here we go. Okay, that's weird. That, 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 that. <laughs> I did not expect that. When you guys feel you've got your mind made up, come back over here. You don't have to drink the whole damn can to make your mind up. There's no sugar in it, so nah. Okay. Okay, camera shut off. Go figure, right? <coughs> okay, got three monsters here. You know what to do. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Really? After you look at them, now you make your decision? Dude, I took a glance. Okay, anywho, they gave it three. Eh. I'm giving it a huh? <sighs> so still, monkey, give me your thoughts. Smelled and tasted like Coke Zero, except for in the aftertaste, where it sort of was like a weird mix between Coke Zero and Oreo. Okay. I don't know if I like it or not. Okay, That's next. Why I gave it Brat. Uh, basically the same thing, except I didn't really get much of a taste because I mostly got the sizzling bubbles. After okay, drink. great. You got the carbonation. You're supposed to. You're drinking soda. Yeah, like a lot of it. Okay, so what did it taste like to you? I didn't really taste much of it, but basically what Caden said. <laughs> All right, cuteness factor. It tasted like bland Coke to me. Tasted like bland Coke to you? Yes. Okay, so for me, when I opened it up and took a sniff, because it's Coke Zero, I don't know if it depends between regular... That's two, camera. That's two. Like I said, I know there's 20 ounce bottles out there somewhere. I'm really not looking forward to them. <coughs> when I sniffed it, it smelled like Coke. When I drank it, instantly it was a chocolate feel in the mouth. Seriously, it was that Oreo chocolatey goodness right there. So that was shocking to go, Coke, drink, Oreo. Interesting feeling. <coughs> now we get on to the main attraction, which they're over there going, hee. Now in contrast. <laughs> A few weirdos. There's the nutritional facts right there on the back. Okay. 
there's the sign. That's the day. You may see the death of a camera live today. You really might. So, got it opened up, and the moment I opened the package, that's what you're greeted with. But what caught me is I got this great big waft of Coca-Cola coming right out of the package. I had my kids smell, and of course the monkey's got to be the different one going, it smells like mint. <laughs> yeah, it smells like a mix between mint and Coca-Cola. So, huh. I swear to God, if I go out there and they're beating on the cable box again, I hate my neighborhood kids, I really hate them, but there we go. I heard that like they had some different things, but no. Oh yeah, wait. There's Coke bottles. And what's the third? Okay, so each little sleeve has different stuff. It just has the Coca-Cola logo. So. There's for you. There's for you. And there's for you. I gotta hit pause because I need to do something. Okay, sorry, I'm back. No kids were harmed in the pausing of this video. <laughs> All right, so. I wanna see if I can separate this easily. Because I hear there's something special in the frosting. kind of see it. I'm not going to say exactly what it is because the kid's chewing, so I'm going to tell them in a moment. I know what it is. But. Okay. <laughs> if you guys have an opinion made, come on. <coughs> All right, you know how we do it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please don't hit your sister in the All mouth right. when you're putting thumbs up. Sorry. It was classic. Sister's trying to walk by me, throws the thumb up, and she's all, eh! I really don't want to have to explain that one to Child Protective Services later. He was giving a thumbs up! Ah. Three thumbs up, straight across the board. Get this factor, you're first. It was pretty good. I definitely tasted the Coke when I had the Coke bread part. The frosting? Yeah. Okay. So you liked it? Yeah. Okay. I tried each piece with the with the Oreo Coke drink too, and didn't really do anything different. Just added a Coke a flavoring to the Oreo bread that didn't have the Coke flavoring already. Okay, so if you could have them again, would you? Yes. Okay, go away, Monkey Boy. Am I allowed to say what's in the frosting? Yeah, go ahead. I love the Pop Rocks in the frosting. It gives you that <laughs> carbonated flavor. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It just nips at your mouth like carbonation. See, okay. Yes, no, what? Did you like them? Not? Yes, I loved them. If you could have them again, would you? Yes. Get gone. All right, you. Same thing with the crystals. Though, like, I haven't tasted them on my tongue, so I didn't feel it. But I could definitely hear the crunch of them when I bit into them. Okay. Also, it does actually sort of taste like Coke. Yeah, it really tastes like yeah, Coke. Yeah, they did a good job. <laughs> okay, so if you could have them again, would you? Yeah. Get going. <laughs> so I knew 
after watching Moe's video, all right, I, I violated my own rules because I wanted to go into it blind, but I, I got to support the shark, man, especially with snack time with shark. You, you got to support him, all right? So he talked about it, and his friend Bradley talked about it. He was like, the, the carbonation. And my first thought was like some beard products that I have where you can kind of smell the carbonation. I was like, what did they do to this cookie? And then they started talking Pop Rocks, and my mind went back to the Star Wars stuff with the Kyber Crystals and stuff with Fourth of July Oreos that they've done. So I was really, I really wanted to get to this review and go, all right, does this really taste like soda? It does. It really tastes like Coca-Cola. That's the easiest way I can put it. It tastes like it. The Pop Rocks are not a distraction. They're an addition to the cookie. It just takes it to an entirely different level. Would I buy them again? Gotta hope so. I've got two more packages of the cookies upstairs and another six-pack of the soda. I got five items for like 20 bucks. Fred Meyer Kroger was running a special. So, <clears throat> my local Walmart said they had them, but they didn't. Fred Meyer was running a great special for pickup only, so that's how we got these for today. Now we are at the best part of the video. Seriously, we really, really, truly are. I want to know yo questions, comments, love, hatred, and anger. All that fun stuff right down below. Number one, I got to make this clear. Moving forward in future videos, you probably will not see the brat or the cuteness factor on camera. Some people have left some mighty disgusting comments, so... um. That's why they're behind the camera an awful, awful lot. And I'm just going to leave it like that. But have you tried these yet? Do they have your interest? If you have tried them, what did you think of them? Did you like them? Did you not like them? And yeah, I'm sorry for the kids screaming outside because for some reason they love to get like 10 feet away from my front door and just yell and scream and do dumb shit. But still, I... <laughs> uh, anywho, I like these. I'm glad I got to try them. I'm really surprised in my small town, because seriously, I am like a good spit away from Canada there, eh? I'm surprised we got him up here. I, I really, really am. I was really worried this just might be an East Coast thing. Because you know how they do some limited edition things, just, this is only for the West Coast, this is only for the East Coast. I hate that crap. For one nation. Give me the snack food. Anywho. Now, if I made you laugh, I made you cringe, I made you cry, I made you do any of that. Hey, well, come on. It's me. Some of that happened in this video. You're going to want to hit that thumbs up. Why? It's going to do three things for free. Seriously, for free, because you hit that thumbs up. Number one, you're going to give yourself good karma. Seriously, you put out good, you're going to get good back. Number two, you're going to help me trigger that almighty algorithm. YouTubers live and die by the algorithm. Help a channel succeed. <coughs> and number three, you're going to show love and support for the channel. Even after all these years, I still get that big old tingly feeling whenever I see thumbs up and great comments. But there we go, guys. My quick, weird, friggin' review of 2024's weirdest Oreo release, the Coca-Cola Oreos. I want to thank you guys for watching this one. Hope you're having a great day today. Hope you're having a safe day today. <coughs> and I hope to see all of you in our very next video.